Today we're playing Vampire Coast. One vampire pirates please along with a mentally challenged legendary lord. Make sure our settings are on normal and here we go. Arr, we load in and already we could smell the fresh sea breeze and rotting corpses. Now we're currently ranked last in the pirates infamy list, which is bad if we're ever going to become the pirate king Monkai de Luffy. Thankfully there's a conveniently placed enemy for us to take care of. Count Gula, bring that ass over here! Or as my Romanian hungry friend taught me, Jula, or Zula, or something. I don't really remember. Looking at the units, he has a pretty basic army, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll pass it on to Past Tense Kai to commentate the battle. So, what we're gonna do to start off, I do not like these trees. I'm gonna grab my gunnery mob and place them here. We'll get the deckhands right behind them. Uh, I love how the zombies have no formation whatsoever. Scurvy dogs. Let's have them on the flanks so they can run in our mortars at the back so let's get our legendary lord in the middle to give the buffs all right let's start the battle so we'll just wait let's have our mortars actually fire off oh there they go who are you aiming for oh you see this is why i like artillery it's just so satisfying yeah it's really good they got them Demolished. That's half their health gone. Oh my god, here they come. Are we ready? Two more mortars, please. Who are we going for now? Oh, the same unit. With the zombies and the pirate coast, the white bar under their name is like their courage, like their bravery. If it's depleted, other factions, the unit usually runs away. But in this one, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's take down their bombers. That's why I wanted to take down the bombers. Let's send the blocker in. Nice. This unit got absolutely demolished. Get these guys at the back. Who's not defended? Have our Lord go in as well. Okay. This battle went. Uh, like in our favor a lot. I don't think we're gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah, mortars, stop. There's friendly fire. <laughs> I don't want to lose a unit. Oh, God, this is just absolutely beautiful. Get the Lord, everyone. Pile up on the Lord, pile up on the Lord. Where's my Lord? Why are you just chilling? Yo, the Lord's putting it work. The auto resolve was saying I was gonna lose one unit. Oh wait, was it saying I was gonna lose my? Oh, there we go. And the lords down. I think the one I lost was the bloated corpse, which actually blows itself up. So our victory is ours, or whatever. Just yeah, that wasn't so bad. We only lost 191 units, and the only unit lost was this blow up, bloated zombie thing. Count Gula though, rip. With our decisive victory over the mutineers, we gain some gold and some XP for our MPD legendary lord. The other options not really helping us right now, we're just gonna assimilate some of the captives for some replenishment. Kicking his ass gave us over 7k gold, which means it's time to give our pistol boys some rifles, followed by an increase in size to loot for half of his personal ship. Now our ship's missing a heavy ballast, so let's go and order one from Pirate Ikea to improve our ship growth. Okay, we got a skill point for our legendary lord. We give it to Root Marcher, which increases our campaign movement range. Campaign victory, then you do long campaign victory, and then there's the domination victory, where you could just keep scaling and take over the whole like map, the whole world. That's our victory conditions. Now time for more battles. Onward to Pox Marsh, men. Now looking at this settlement, we got El De Bryan defending this settlement with its garrison. Auto resolve says decisive victory, but we lose two of our scaly boys. So we're actually gonna go ahead and fight this battle. Looking at our units, we shouldn't be losing anyone. And uh, let me just give it over to Battle Kai to commentate the battle. Oh, why is it so yellow? Gun hands at the front, thank you very much. Yeah, 
just like that. Have our swordsmen right behind them. Go with the same formation. Can they attack from here? Yes, they can. Start battle. Here we go. Mortar. Focus. Fire here, please. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. And. Kinda missed. But it's okay. Wait, two more. That missed. Where's my other one? I thought I was firing four. They're trying to flank. So we're gonna shoot those guys. Alright, my men have started shooting. My scurvy dogs are ready to go around. Oh, the bombs are down. The bombs are down. Our riflemen still shooting them from the sides. Who the hell is using... Is it him? Oh shit, we flank from behind. Why is my bats just watching? Oh shit, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's coming in to blow. Damn. Damn. That almost took out a whole unit. Okay, they dis they're crumbling. That's one unit gone. Now their unit should stop. Oh. Why is my monsters about to... Oh, stand line, stand line, stand line. Come on, lads. Okay, my mortar's actually doing bits now. Just when I needed them to. Alright, this looks like a battle well won. They're all crumbling soon. Wait, wait, wait. And he's gonna die. There we go. Nice. Coming off the second battle, we only got 372 losses. We didn't lose any units, like the Opera Resolve said. And we're going to occupy this settlement and make it ours. So that's our second settlement in this region. Elder Brian is dead. Good riddance. Uh, casualty replenishment replenishment rate is always good, but before that, oh shit, I can't get back anyways. What are we waiting for? Uh, what are we waiting for? Good question. End our turn. Okay, nice. So let's make some holes in the side. Flax, you're next. Hoist the sails, but on land. We want to keep going with... Missile strength for mortars, yes. And then we continue. You know what? I've been enjoying battling with the Vampire Coast faction. Oh, we have a lot of terrain advantage up here. Oh, but we also have a lot of terrain advantage up here. Alright, let's bring our units back here. We want our missile units to be at the front here and then the mortar back here okay we look like we're set for this battle wait oh are you just gonna wait for me that's no good if i can get to a point where they can reach you though but if i can actually hit them from far then they're gonna have to start moving yeah there we go see now pull them back mortars i need you to hurry up so i can start firing on them uh you guys are gonna start shooting them Come on, I want more impact than that. Come on. Rifles, fire! Fire, bring them all down! Let's go, let's go. Reload, reload. Mortars, I need you to be sticking those shots, man. Monsters have done a quick work of them. They need to get them back out. They need to get the fuck out of there. Oh, we flank around. Oh, they died as well. Oh, they're all crumbling. They're all crumbling. And that's gonna be it. Let's go. We only lost 86 from 1120 battle. 
Oh hell yeah. Now we're gonna occupy this settlement. This land is now called the Kai Lands. Okay, so let's see what we can build. Let's go with a level two settlement and more income. We'll go growth. Yep, yep. Oh wait. We have a duplicate settlement. We must destroy one. And now we take to the seas. Wait, who's this? Someone still exists? Well, you must die. Oh, we're gonna recruit. No, we're not, because we don't have enough gold. Hmm. So let's go inspiring presence, because we want the leadership. Increase our missile damage as much as possible. Yep. And let's dig for some treasure. Ahoy there! We've come across an enemy encampment devoid of life and littered with corpses. Half devoured bodies are scattered about the clearing. The fallen dead were elite riflemen. Surely one among them will be of use to us, or perhaps we should seek out the creature that caused this massacre. Now nah, let's get a Mongol haunter. Oh god, what in the hell is that? Damn, that looks scary, but also awesome at the same time. Recruit more men. Riflemen. Oh. Demanding a change in your mutual. Archon, the black. What does he want? He wants military access. You're all the way there. For sure. Oh, it's D'Lo. D'Lo Brown. Ah, shite. He's got hand cannons and everything. We're gonna have to lose this battle. It's a valiant defeat. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna let him take it. Save, save. <laughs> for the looting. Lies for the looting. Decisive victory. That's a lot of units I do not want to deal with actually. And the there we go, decisive victory. Nice. Oh, I did want to see the Mongol Hunter though. Uh, we take My back our lands, thank rose. you. I want to get this. So I could unleash mortars. Yeah, let's do that. Rubber dub dub. 200 men in a tub. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. Sure. Let's go. Yep. My all right, minds all right. agree. My minds agree. But we want this to increase our missile strength. Monkey jacket. Yes. <laughs> we will eat your toes. And that's where we're gonna leave it off for today. Thank you for joining in on the first episode of the Vampire Coast campaign. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content and be on the lookout for part two next week.